Hello everyone, this is Dalster and welcome to another video and in today's video I'm actually doing an abandoned video of the Coco's Bakery here in Costa Mesa. I actually wasn't gonna do a video, abandoned video of an abandoned place because I've been really busy and you know Halloween's just coming up and I'm trying to wrap up the Dark Side of the Ring episodes but I stumbled upon this Coco's when I was at the at-home store and I just wanted to record it real quick before they completely cover it. Also, um, if you didn't know, it's in Costa Mesa and it's, it used to be next to a building which was a Pier 1 import. But now it's like kind of a place for an adult where they could... Um, well, let's just say they're being adults and they're trying to re relieve themselves. Which I wouldn't recommend, but I mean, if it's helps your mental health, then I guess it's okay. As long as you get, you know, your doctors to say okay. But, um, yeah, I'll show you guys around and see what I could find. Anything interesting going on. Surprisingly, the weird part about this place is that I actually, when I was doing a walk and talk about the day that Kobe Bryant died, because I actually saw Kobe Bryant, uh, three months before he passed away at a school. I didn't meet him, but I saw him really close. And I was talking right here in this spot, and I was talking, I did a video about him, you know, trying to remember the day, and the day I met him, and the day I, the day that he passed away, which is really sad. But yeah, I was at right, this location right here. I was sitting here and talking and, yeah, the Cocos was still operating. Honestly, I didn't know that, that they closed recently until last week. But, um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, so here's the door, which unfortunately you can't see the handle. I'm guessing you have to open inside. As you can tell, unfortunately it's covered. And I don't know if you guys remember, but didn't they have a Cocos in Garden Grove in Anaheim a long time ago, but they closed it down? I don't remember because I remember when I was in sixth grade, which was like 2004, I want to say 2005. Um, there was this sixth grade teacher that I had for a math class. And I think he said he worked for Coco's or, or some other restaurant. I can't remember what it was, but I think it was a Coco's restaurant in Anaheim. And he said that he, he would have to work and that he lived in a small apartment and and uh, yeah, he was also a teacher too, so I don't know if he met Coco's or some other one. There was another restaurant too, but unfortunately they closed it a couple years ago, right around Harper and Catella. I can't remember what it was called. I don't know if it was Coco's or if it was another store. I think it was like a gift shop or something. I can't remember. But um, the year after, that same year, his wife was pregnant and the year after the next school year I never saw him again I guess maybe he just took paternity leave or something but I never saw him again oh that does not look like a nice picture right here oh, yeah I don't, I don't think that's a nice picture I mean it's detailed but it's not a really good way to put profanity yeah and they have a bunch of trash left over I don't know if it's a yard work or something else. I'm not gonna lie, guys, it's kind of creepy around here. And I always come by this area, but not in the back side. But I think he said that he used to work at Coco's. It wasn't this restaurant, it was one in Anaheim. I think it was, maybe I'm wrong. But I don't know whatever happened to him. Like the, the year after he just disappeared. I've never had Coco's actually. I, I've always wanted to try it, but I never really tried it. Although they did say there's one in um, Harbor in Garden Grove, I think. I don't know, we'll look at the sign real quick. Yeah, I would show you guys the former Pier 1 Imports building, but unfortunately uh, it's occupied by another business and uh, I don't think YouTube would like it if I posted that kind of stuff on my channel, so... <laughs> this area looks a little, like, dry compared to the other area we were just in. Yeah, it's not really that big of a Coco's, actually. 
Oh, and you can see the sign over there, Coco's. I don't know if you guys can see it. I know my my camera can be a little in and out sometimes, which is really annoying. Yeah, unfortunately they already covered the windows. It's crazy. I just did a video about this like a year or so ago and now it's closed. It used to be packed too when I was there that last time. Yeah, there's one in Garden Grove. I'm not sure where exactly. I know it's in Harbor, which isn't that far actually. Well, actually, it is kind of far if you take the bus. This was filled with people when I filmed that video of Kobe Bryant. And a lot of businesses have been closing down. I know a lot of people have been asking me to film this one and that one, but... You know, I, I've been kind of busy, but hopefully I'll be able to get to it soon. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is as low as we could get in, to look on the inside. Oh, wait, 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 I got it, I got it. Yeah, this is this, the area where I filmed a video about remembering Kobe and how I saw him around this area. Well, not, not this Coco's, it was at a college close by. Yeah. Yeah, that's as... That's as much as we can get to. Yeah, fortunately, this is as much as we could get to. We can't get to the other sides. God, call me dumb, but I just barely noticed this shovel on the ground. It's dirty too, unless someone was trying to dig in there. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna show the license plate, but I really like how this person put a smiley face in their car. Really creative. But that's the, the sign that you could see where it says Coco's. There used to be a Pier 1 import sign too, but that one got taken off now because it's occupied by another business. But I think, yeah, that's it. Anyway, one last look before we leave. Rest in peace, Cocos. I'm gonna go now, but thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I still have a lot more videos coming up on Halloween decorations. I do have two more. I have a Dark Side of the Ring episode. Should be out by this week. And uh, the last one for season four should be out probably the, by the end of this week or next week, possibly. But I'll see you guys next time. Comment, like, subscribe. Take care, take care of yourself and everyone around you. And I'll do the same too. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.